Welcome back, basement dwellers. It's time for some more Super Mario RPG. In the previous episode, we found out that the, how the town has been overrun by shy guys on pogo sticks. Yeah, where do you think everyone went? Now we're going to figure out what's happening now. Well, well gang. Then. Looks like it is. Help! We can bounce around, around all day long, and there's no one who can stand in the way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away! <laughs> How come none of them were I female? have an idea. Let's ruin their fun. Oh. <laughs> By leaving the room? Uh-oh. Oh, they're going to do it again? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> you know what? In real life, this happens all the time. I, I, I am in a room, right? And I overhear, I like eavesdrop on a conversation. I leave, I come back, they say the same, same thing again. Same conversation. Yeah, it's like Groundhog Day. Not so fast, pal. Look at him! He can't even bounce! Maybe we could bounce on his head! Whoa! Oh, yeah? What do you mean Check I can't even out. bounce? Look at that. Look at Mars. I'm freaking Mario, okay? Yeah, he's Jumpman. Whoa! Who's this guy? Kablamo! I like how he jumps Mac. up out of the screen and it gives you enough time for your eyes to be drawn to the Toad Chancellor who's in the corner going, <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're asking, asking for, for it. You're asking for internal technology. Oh, you're gonna get internal technology. <laughs> you you picked, picked the wrong internal technology, technology to buy. How about a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache? Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, whoa, Jeez. shy guy. All right, here's what you do. Okay. Pound on the main guy with Mario. Okay. You could definitely use uh, like magic if you want. You don't have to. And then Thunderbolt, because that strikes yeah. everyone. And if you can get that time to attack. Nope. Oh, you can't it. just spam it. That won't work. Well, I. I just, I, that's all I've always done. <laughs> I oh, hit it really? twice, yeah. I kind of yeah, hit it no. earlier if you, on. If you hit it, like, during the non-window, it counts as a fail already. You can't there redeem it. There it is. It. You can do it toward the end of the lightning. Da -da 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 -da. Flame wall. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, this guy's got magic. Oh, okay. Well, hey. Like I said in the previous episode, uh, episode three, if you missed it, um, I spent some time off screen grinding a bit, and so we're a little over leveled at this point, but not too That's bad. Okay. And and the game does, it it's paced in such a way that you can't like over level early and then just be ahead for the whole game. It doesn't really work that way. The game will catch up with you. It seems to me. Well, that's I've, good. I've played this game a lot of times. Oh, okay, now you don't have to use Thunderbolt when there's only one out there. But yeah, I guess but yeah, you're doing a lot of damage. Though. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel like otherwise he's just way too wimpy. Ooh, you should show uh, the dwellers what Psychopath does with uh, okay. with uh, <laughs> what's his name. Now Psychopath does actually have an uh, upgrade. I think if you get a certain charm and equip it, you not only get the remaining HP. Oh, 77. He's doomed. That's all that's left. Yeah, this fight's we're we're a bit overpowered. All right, and <laughs> yeah, this is gonna. Oh do no! It. Oh, don't Psychopath him. Oh, look at that! You're out of flower points. Well, I'll do this and see Yeah, just can... punch him with your girly oh, little almost. mushroom fists. <laughs> this is what makes this fight hard, is that there's what so hurts, many What attacks. hurts more than getting punched with marshmallows? Anything. <laughs> yeah, getting pogo sticked on the head. Oh, but he left now. Oh, he, and he might have more uh, whatever when he comes back. Um, you're not going to attack? Well, I want to hopefully... <clears throat> sometimes when you do a defense, you have like a better... What's the word like? A Defense. No, you have a better. Uh, see? Banana. I get, to, I get to do like timing. Uh, sorry, like speed. <laughs> so like your turn. Yeah. Your, your turn comes up earlier when you do a defense oh. in a lot of RPGs. <clears throat> well, I think this is just everyone gets a turn at this point. That's where your your speed and their speed is really similar. So you might have to like defeat these guys before he comes back. I'm not sure. Okay. okay, so now here's a good example of like have Mallow work on that guy So don't attack him with Mario because you can kill one of the other two in, in one hit. You know what I mean? What heals the uh, mushroom heals me, right? Yeah, it heals HP. Okay, we'll do that now you can I believe No, you can't I was gonna say you I think you can have Mallow use a mushroom on Mario, but that may be wrong. I don't we'll recall. I know out. you can. I know you can cast like magic, like healing magic on other people. But yeah, see, you understand. You attack yep. the the non mallow guy because he might yep. finish him off right here. Yep. Which he Yay. did. Good job, Mallow. You're not a. You're not totally useless after all. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm just a little marshmallow guy with fists. Yeah, it looks like you do need to take these guys out. He's a frog. Yeah, that's right. He's not a frog. He's a frog. When's the last time you saw a frog that was made out of marshmallows? Um, uh, looking, Never. I'm that's looking how many. at one right now. His name is Mallow. <clears throat> he's not a frog. I know they say he's a frog. He's a frog. They Bam, said he's a end frog. End of your life. Cannon. I don't care how canon it is. What are those Wrong. guys? Oh, you have to defeat these guys still? That's kind of funny. Yeah, and I got no thunder shock. Well, this will be a minute. Uh, you know what? That's okay, though. This is uh, the first big boss of the game. It's um, it's a good one to uh, bam, cut our teeth on. Is that how the ouch. saying goes? Yes. Cut yeah, a rug? I, no, it's cut, cut your teeth. Are we dancing with the boss? What if you played a game and you got to the end and you had to dance with the last boss to beat the game? Wow. And there was just a button that was like, oh, I've never noticed this option before, and it was just dance. <laughs> and that was the only way that you could defeat And you the dance boss. and they that dance. That sounds like something that would happen in Undertale. Yeah, and then you realize that, like, we have something in common. <laughs> and you set aside your differences, and that's, like, how you defeat the last boss. We love to dance. <laughs> yeah. Let's build a new kingdom full of harmony, peace, and dance. And rhythm. <laughs> and, and guacamole. Rhythm. Oh, I could Holy go moly, guacamole. guacamole. Spaghetti tacos. Ooh, that sounds so good. I know. I totally have some spaghetti. <gasps> What's that? It's a blue star. What is it? It's a blue star. What's that? Do -do 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 <laughs> Here we go! Oh my gosh, it totally does do that, doesn't it? <clears throat> what? I mean, it doesn't do here we go, but it goes. Da -da 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 right? And it's like the same thing as um. No, this is it's, it's totally different music. I don't totally. Yeah, I didn't do it. Ooh, I wonder how many star pieces there'll be. Well, I'm assuming it's around that many. We just saw. Ooh, a pogo guy. This is not good. This is not good. This mustachioed man is strong. Strong, yes. We must warn the boss. <laughs> hey, props if you can spell the word mustachioed without looking it up. Everyone try to spell mustachioed in the comments below. <laughs> Do it! And nobody be mean to anyone else who spells it wrong, because everyone's going to spell it wrong, almost. <laughs> Once again, Mario, to the rescue! Once again! <clears throat> who were those? <laughs> Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're all right. So it was you who got us through all of this. We owe you much. That's right. You do owe much to me. The mustachioed one. <laughs> fade to black. Fade in from black. Same thing. <laughs> Different Why? timing. First the princess, and now this. Just too much to bear. Mario. How about we ask my grandpa for help? He knows everything. Where was Mallow? In Mario's <laughs> pocket? Apparently. He's a marshmallow. <laughs> Excuse me, but who are you? Uh, pro tip, don't put marshmallows in your pocket. You'll forget about them, the weather might be warm, you'll put them in the washer. It's a bad idea. There are a whole plethora of things that could go wrong with a marshmallow in your pocket. Yeah, there's like, very, and very few could, things could go right. What if seagulls just started attacking you to get the marshmallow? Ooh, what if you <clears> fell <throat> and landed directly on an ant pile home Ooh, thing? Ooh, and they just like eat That'd you That'd be good news inside. for the ants. Could, Could Mac, the sword-like monster who crashed in the Mushroom Kingdom, have anything to do with the star piece that Mario found? Our heroes move toward the sewers. Caro sewers. I didn't. We that. already got a Caro Caro Cola. That seems to be some sort of theme. Okay, so now we can talk to uh, the townspeople of Mushroom Kingdom and discover that things are much better now than they were moments ago, when there were Pogo men all over. But oh, go. Yep, go up. I uh, yep. Yep. So I'm this checking. room, I keep coming back into here to see. Yeah, you, you mentioned that uh, there will be uh, some um, cameos, intellectual property sleeping in that bed later. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what IP stands for? I think A so. Nintendo IP. Yeah, it's Nintendo's intellectual property. So I guess Princess Toaster really was kidnapped by Bowser. Oh, I think you can Are go you behind that building that you're in right now. And there's something there. Yeah. Trample the monster, smash them all. It'll do you good. Trust me. On this one. On which one? Traveler, smash them all. Trust me. On this one. Oh, this one. Wait, this what? Trust me. This, on this one. one. You don't have to talk to him anymore. I'm just. I, I'm. I keep you saying, were trying to give me a hint. No, for I keep saying something because you keep talking to him, and I think you keep talking to him because it keeps saying something. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, so the spinny guys in towns, the spinny star uh, is an inn. And okay. the spinny mushroom is a shop, and that holds true, I think, throughout the game. That makes sense. Yes, that's handy to know. Uh, so where are you going to go? I don't know. Let's talk to this lady. Hope my grandchild turns out to be just like the princess. Probably not. She's not famous. Ooh, you want to uh, um, want to marry that girl? You want to show our dwellers a little uh, interesting Easter egg? Yes. Jump on the always the runny kid. See if you can land on its head. Her Let's head. There you go. Now just wait. Oh my gosh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, this Mario! Is did Mario. You. <laughs> That's it. That's the wow. whole thing. Wow, that was it. That was great, though. Yeah, he gets dizzy. Way to uh, just include those little details. All right, where are we headed? Uh, just leave the town. All right, let's so get the heck out of here. So because this is map-based, like a lot of Mario games, once you leave, then you'll see you Garo can travel Solution. any direction. It doesn't matter where you leave. The, All right. You know, the town. You oh, just man, this the map. is so amazing. Did I ever tell you that I'm pretty sure this is the game that I did my first all-nighter playing? Really? Yes. That's awesome. Me and my cousin Scott. It was great. This game is my... Oh, um, dark down there, so keep alert. I'm trying to remember, is this my first or my second RPG that I really, like, played, played? Like, all the way through. Ooh. Saving time. Guys, it's the Caro Sewers. And Crosser. we have a star. Mario's level six. Things are good. Whoa. Wouldn't be a Mario game without water. That's, well, that's right, too. Ooh, a note. Let's read it. Read directions on how to enter? Oh, we already know. Yes. Stand on the pipe and push down. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, this one. feels a little confusing, so they had to sort of make it clear. Oh! Uh, okay. Let's fight these birdos. You're rushing birdies. right in. These water birdos? Did you say birdo? Boom! Yeah, what are they called? Birdies? I, they're fish. Goby. Do you see the name when you fight them? Oh, yeah. When you select a middle... Uh, to dodge. Or not dodge, but... This episode brought to you by Dodge Pickups. <laughs> by... <d> <laughs> By Timed dodge. hits pickups. If it ain't a truck, it ain't a dodge. If it ain't a dodge, it ain't some fudge. What? Ooh, okay, you have to get out at these little outings. Right, oh. it's gotta be like the same level as the water. That's sort of what they're going for. Now this place is a bit of a maze and it's gonna split us into a lot of different directions. And uh, next time in the basement, we're gonna continue exploring Caro Sewers. Uh, join us for that. We've had a lot of fun playing here today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for uh, another video of a different game. And we'll see you back for more Super Mario RPG in a few days. Isn't that right, Ted? That is so right. Today's episode of The Basement was brought to you by Keen Eye Gaming. Keen Eye Gaming. Uh, frequent commenter and uh, link to his channel in the description below. And to all you basement dwellers, we think that you are more enjoyable than... A Snickers bar when you are extremely thirsty.